John Henry Brown is the attorney for the family of Colton Harris Moore. He joins us this morning from Seattle. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. As I understand it, you were actually contacted by Colton's mother last month. You haven't yet spoken with him directly. When do you expect that to happen? Well, hopefully sometime today. Uh, I was hired by his mother last uh, in, in early June to represent him, uh, and uh, of course she's hired me. He hasn't really, uh, so it's a little bit awkward uh, at this point until I talk to him, but I know he knows. Uh, he was only allowed one phone call yesterday, and he called his aunt. Um, so I expect he'll be calling me sometime today. Um, he is accused of a string of alleged crimes in, in Canada, in the U.S., and now uh, alleged to be involved in seven break-ins in the Bahamas. So at this point, because he was arrested there and uh, may be connected with some crimes there, who has jurisdiction? Well, um, you know, the people that usually have the body have the first jurisdiction. Um, the, you know, obviously the most efficient thing for all the authorities to do, and probably in Colton's best interest, would be to try to consolidate everything in federal court here in Seattle. He's charged here in federal court, uh, and that would seem to make sense. Otherwise, you're going to have an administrative nightmare all across the United States trying to try him in various counties and states. and. Of course, I don't know the strength of the evidence of any of these cases, so that that also is an issue. So the best thing would probably, my advice to him would be to waive extradition in uh, the Bahamas if they'll allow him to do that, mm -hmm. and come to Seattle and uh, see if we can consolidate everything here. He has, of course, gained uh, an incredible amount of notoriety. There's been much talk about these Facebook fans that he had in some ways being glorified for these alleged crimes. How harmful, though, could that be to your defense? Well, I'm, I've had other high-profile clients, and it's always difficult, I think. Um, you know, my job as a defense lawyer is to try to get the system to treat my clients um, in that category as, as a regular cases. I mean, these are all property cases. Uh, there's never been any danger to any human being other than Colton himself. Uh, I'm not minimizing it, but, you know, I think we need to keep it in perspective. The fact that they uh, found, allegedly found a gun on him uh, complicates matters because whenever you commit a crime, even if you're not using a gun, but you have a gun in your possession, it makes things much more difficult. And, and could that ultimately, if, if he is in fact convicted, could that influence sentencing at all and, and give us an idea of what he's facing? Yes. Um, the possession of a weapon during a crime, even though it's not used in the crime, uh, with some exceptions, uh, usually makes it much more complicated. Now, I, I, I've done some research about the Bahamian law, and if they don't make the allegation about the weapon, since it wasn't used in any crime, then uh, his sentence uh, structure in the Bahamas would be very low, actually. But uh, I'm not sure they would want to go through an expensive, high-profile trial if they can just turn everything over to the feds in Seattle, but maybe everybody wants their pound of flesh. I don't know. And, and what about in terms of, uh, of potential time here in the U.S.? Um, well, if it was a normal case in federal court such as this, um, it would probably be three or four years or maybe even less, depending on, on how good the lawyer was that was doing the job. Um, but given the notoriety here, you know, my best guess, and of course, these are allegations. I don't know which cases have uh, evidence and which cases don't have evidence. Mm -hmm. uh, my guess is somewhere between uh, four and 12 years, perhaps. Attorney John Henry Brown, I appreciate you taking the time for us this morning. Thank you. You're welcome. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.